Up next on the bottom line, we'll meet some county students who are already making their mark in the community. We had many companies where we were very reluctant about taking a high school student. The feedback we got at the end was, wow, they're better than our college students. A program that teaches confidence through the arts. You already put me to home. We, we like to say it, it, the acting experience overall has, has changed his life. And an unsung hero gets his name in light. A man who changed the view of slavery in the United States. Thanks for watching everyone, I'm Susan Kennedy. The Summer Rise program gives county high school students the opportunity to explore potential careers. And through this experience, a few of those students are already making an impact. Some people walk past it, some people come up, start making faces. Alfred Gums and Serena Honda are getting a good idea of what it would be like to work in the technology department of Montgomery County Public Schools. Right. So let's go ahead and try to open up a video. These Summer Rise interns are developing an app that is designed to help students with special needs navigate their schools and community. I want to go to Georgia Tech. Using a 360 camera, Serena and Albert went out to various spots around the county to get a sense of what it would be like to walk in the shoes of those students. We went to Gaithersburg High School uh, to their program and we, we, so we rode the bus with them to it's kind of like their field trip. And you can move around. Yeah. It was pretty cool to see how the students in the Skatersburg High School program interacted with each other and in their community so we could make it in our app too. Uh, we went to Montgomery Mall with them and just walked around with them to see really how, how it works and how we could help them. We wanted to try and yeah. incorporate that. And not just from observing them, we actually talked to a few of the teachers there at Gaithersburg High School and they were telling us about the needs that would help them benefit the students and we kind of integrated that into our app. You really get a sense of being in the moment, you see interaction with others, you see how people work together, you see empathy and emotion shared that you don't typically see, so you're able to really capture what's going on in the moment. This music was all made by Albert. He made all the beats for You it. did? Yes. Fabulous. Albert composed the music for the app using digital technology, and the students included three lessons they thought would be beneficial to the person using the app. So if we start it, we can either do a new game or continue our old one or go back. So let's say we're starting a new game. It's showing you three different lessons. One around the town with public safety, which is pretty much showing you how to go on a crosswalk, how to get on a public bus. And here shopping and budgeting, where we went to the market and giant. And here self-advocacy, where it's search and find. So it's kind of like a Where's Waldo component, where um, it's the hot spots, which is really good for teaching. This is the second year of the Summer Rise program, and the demand to be a part of this experience has exploded. Attitude, so we're looking at professional attitude. More than 1,500 students applied for the opportunity, and 400 of them were placed. I want to grow up to be a pharmacist, and I feel as though learning new things is a great feeling. WorkSource Montgomery sponsors Summer Rise. We believe that our high school kids don't have the experience of the world of work. It's much harder for high school kids to find jobs now, and so they, they enter into their post high school years without that experience. Without that experience, it's hard for them to create a purpose for moving forward in their pathway. So we're beginning that pathway for them by having them jump in the pool to understand what the world of work is all about. Mary Jody Duwadi is a rising senior at Northwest High School who was also a participant in Summer Rise. She worked for Montgomery College in Germantown in the Writing, Reading, and Language Center, developing promotional videos for incoming students. So from one video script, we made two different videos. Mm -hmm. And the first video we have is like a skit. It's a student having trouble with their essay, and another student comes and tells them about the center. Well, why don't you go to the WRL center? It shows the whole process from the student's point of view. That's great. I'll have you right now. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And the second one's more like an advertisement, like a commercial for the center. 
Jody told us her experience taught her how to manage time and work within the schedules of others. And her work ethic impressed her mentor, who said they plan on doubling up on interns next year. Yeah, um, so definitely, um, we definitely want to do this again. We're thinking maybe even two interns um, next time, and maybe they can work again on another kind of video. Um, and I think this is a really great experience for them. We've really tried to show her what it's like to work in the Writing Center and, you know, to have a professional experience. And I, I think and I hope that that's a valuable experience for them. Uh, it was such a neat experience for me. I like hosting interns. I like to, them to have educational experiences. Council President to... Hans Reamer hosted a Summer Rise intern in his office. He's a big supporter of the program and remembers well what it was like to be young and unsure of a career path. You know, when I was in college, uh, my first two years, I wasn't quite as serious. And then I did an internship, and it helped me understand why I wanted to be in school. And then when I went back to school, I was a much better student because I had a bigger sense of purpose and focus. And that's what these kinds of opportunities can do is help give our young people a sense of what they want to achieve in life and you know, why they need to focus on the next goal ahead of them. Officials say they want to continue to grow the Summer Rise program and hope to sign on additional hosts for next year. I do want to say you are the future of our workforce. Ellie Giles says the program is changing the perception of what our high school students have to offer. The power of networking, understanding having the connectivity with a business now gives them that mentor going forward. The companies benefit, I think, almost more because they are beginning to understand how talented our youth is. And we started this, we had many companies were very reluctant about taking a high school student. The feedback we got at the end was, wow, they're better than our college students. I look at the whole uh, Summer Rise program as a way of maximizing uh, really a, a trifecta effort of being able to support multiple uh, efforts in one. Our next story is about a unique program here in Montgomery County that is giving adults with intellectual differences the opportunity to channel their inner Shakespeare. First thing in comedy, we want to be able to express ourselves physically. Annetta is warming up this group of special students for an hour of comedy class. Welcome. Thank you for coming. This has been comedy class. The comedy class is just one of the many programs offered by ArtStream, a Montgomery County nonprofit with the mission of bringing the arts experience to folks who might not otherwise be exposed to them. Whether you're an amateur or a pro, ArtStream has a role for you. You know, ArtStream is a place where people feel completely accepted. So there's trust and there's confidence building in being part of a group. Yes. Woo, let's go. Where everyone assumes you can do it. Artstream was started in 2005 when five women artists decided to bring the arts to the hundreds of individuals who they believed. What do you call a woman? The boss. <laughs> needed it in their lives. Can you tell Miss Madeline what did we find at the bottom of the ocean? Nicolette Stearns is one of the co founders of Artstream and she remains actively involved in the organization today. We teach life skills, communication skills through theater, through dance, and through music. And at the heart of all of that really is the idea of connection. Right now, uh, Steve and Ben are talking to each other, figuring out where they know each other from at Art Street. We practice how you would be in a job interview. How do you talk to someone on the cell phone? How do you problem solve one-on-one -on -one with a boss? Those are scary things to some people. And in ArtStream, we try to provide that safe space mm -hmm. to be able to practice that. These aren't people necessarily with the skills to call someone up and say, hey, do you want to go out to a movie? What's the first thing we should do if we're going to go I know, see a movie? Um, look oh, on the internet. Look on the internet. What are we going to look for? Look. The movie um, times. The movie times. All right, let's look. That's just not a, a plan. The, all of the details that go into that simple request are beyond a lot of our folks in the beginning of our stream. Thank you so much. What theater number are we in? Uh, I think you are in um, number 16. 16, thank you so much. All so right. being able to be with someone every single week um, and make friends, find out who you click with, um, do things together, feel part of a team, 
all of those things happen at ArtStream. ArtStream offers a wide variety of programs to adults with disabilities that have been developed keeping in mind the idea of community building. There are more than 700 classes per year with over 1,000 participants. The programs consist of inclusive drama and social skills classes that include role play, dancing, and comedy. Next, we have Russell doing The Simpsons. Let's set up the scene first. Bart and Lisa are at home with Grandpa. Russell uh, has really grown a lot in our stream. I will put you in a home. You already put me in a home. We, we like to say it, it, the acting experience overall has, has changed his life. He had kind of a troubled adolescence. I'll be good. <laughs> See. <laughs> and um, this put him on a positive path. Heller Ann Shapiro says ArtStream is all about comfort and being part of a group. So, you know, I, I've been in um, one of our Positively Speaking workshops, which is all about public speaking, and um, they do tongue twisters. Sally Sells. Sally Sells. You'd be amazed how proudly people will stand up and try a tongue twister. Whale watchers. Whale watchers. Watch whales. Watch whales. Um, and that's a confidence builder that you don't get uh, anywhere else. Sally sells key shores on the sea shore. The, like one of the main things about the class is it sets up a groundwork to be able to access those things within yourself that you're not able to necessarily experience in, a, in another setting. And that moment when they uh, do something and everybody claps, or like everybody laughs. <laughs> and I did not know um, until about a week ago that he was going to do that. And I didn't know that he had a costume. I was just blown away. Uh, <laughs> And, and getting that positive feedback, that's such an important uh, access point for people because then they realize, oh yeah, I, like I deserve to have people laugh for me. I deserve to have people clap. I deserve to be watched and to be noticed. And that's really important. There's also the inclusive theater class where actors develop and perform an original musical, which is a year-long process. During this time and in all of the classes, the students form friendships and bonds, but more importantly, continue to grow as people. Artstream is a way to help people meet friends and friendships are formed and they're lasting and you're part of a team, you're part of a group. Um, and there's a lot of support for each other. If you'd like more information about ArtStream and the programs it offers, visit the website. And finally, the Montgomery Parks Foundation and AFI Theater teamed up for a special screening of Josiah. The film traces Josiah Henson's journey from slavery in Maryland to freedom in Canada. AFI Silver Theater in Silver Spring hosted the sold-out screening of Josiah, the story that sparked the Civil War. Josiah Henson's story has largely been lost to history until now. The documentary is the work of Jared Brock, who spent three years working on the film, and he also penned a book about Henson's life. This is a man whose time has come, right? Josiah Henson uh, is a local hero who somehow disappeared for over a century. So it's just remarkable to see the initiatives that's going on, the archaeological digs that's going on on the actual site, the actual soil that Josiah Henson uh, was a slave on for over 30 years. This is very exciting for our family. Henson found international fame as the real Uncle Tom in the novel that gave energy to the abolitionist movement and ignited the Civil War. Council President Hans Riemer says the film brings a new awareness to the legacy of this unsung hero. You know, Josiah Henson is such an important figure in our county's history, and most people don't know his story. They, they know Harriet Beecher's, Harriet Beecher Stowe's interpretation of his story, and how you know the novel. I think people know the novel had a big impact, but they don't realize that the man himself lived here and uh, was enslaved here and escaped to freedom from here. A man who was an abolitionist, a man who changed the view 
of slavery in the United States and made a humongous difference. Well, that does it for this edition of The Bottom Line. For County Cable Montgomery, I'm Susan Kennedy.